Hey there, wildlife enthusiasts. Ever wondered how culture and wildlife blend together in a vibrant tapestry? Today, I'm taking you on a journey through India where cows and rivers aren't just natural wonders, they're sacred symbols. First up, let's talk about cows. In India, cows are considered holy. They're associated with deities like Krishna, who's often depicted playing his flute among grazing cows. These gentle giants roam freely in many cities and villages, they're lovingly fed and cared for by locals, which shows a unique bond between humans and animals. Now imagine this, because cows are revered, their protection is deeply rooted in Indian culture. This has led to a fascinating form of wildlife conservation. Laws and traditions ensure their well-being, making them an integral part of the cultural landscape. Switching gears, let's flow with the rivers. The Ganges, or Ganga, is more than just a river. It's considered the goddess Ganga, a divine entity flowing through the heart of India. People flock to its banks for purification and spiritual renewal. But the Ganges is also a lifeline for myriad species. From the endangered Ganges River dolphin to countless bird species, it supports an incredible array of wildlife. The river's sacred status plays a key role in its conservation. Efforts to clean and protect the Ganges aren't just ecological, they're spiritual missions. And here's the beautiful part, because these natural elements are revered, there's a collective effort to protect them. Festivals like Makar Sankranti celebrate the rivers with rituals that promote cleanliness. This cultural reverence turns conservation into a community affair, blending spirituality with environmental stewardship. So, what can we learn from this? India's example shows us that when we respect nature, we protect it. The sacred cows and holy rivers of India aren't just about religious beliefs. They're about a deep, respectful relationship with the natural world. Next time you think about conservation, remember India's sacred wildlife. It's not just about saving species, it's about cherishing the world we share with them. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this trip through India's cultural landscape, hit that like button and subscribe for more wildlife wonders. See you next time.